a Wright Brothers moment for energy. That's what some are calling a key achievement in nuclear fusion that was announced earlier this week. Scientists used 192 gigantic lasers to supercharge a pellet of hydrogen the size of a BB inside the enormous Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California. That created a nuclear fusion burst of 10 quadrillion watts of power for a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a second. Nuclear fusion is the same reaction that occurs in the sun and has long been a goal of scientists around the globe. To explain what all of this actually means is Michio Kaku. He joins us now. He's a professor of theoretical physics at the City College and City University of New York, author of The God Equation, The Quest for the Theory of Everything. I wish we had time to explain the theory of everything, uh, Professor, but how big a breakthrough is this and what could it really mean? Well, this is a giant step toward the holy grail of energy research, to hit break-even, to extract more energy than you put in. And this could eventually become a game changer. You see, fusion reactor is carbon neutral. It does not create carbon dioxide. It does not create copious quantities of nuclear waste that you find in fission plants with uranium. It does not melt down. You cannot melt down a fusion reactor. And the fuel, the fuel is seawater. Hydrogen from seawater could be the basic fuel. So this is too good to be true. And yet we've taken a giant step forward. However, there's some drawbacks that I should also point out as well. Why don't you go to those drawbacks? And, and let, me, let me just summarize what I think I just heard you say. This is a really big breakthrough, number one. And number two, it is safer, theoretically, than what we think of as conventional nuclear power. That's right. This could be the energy source of the future. Cheap, too cheap to meter, using seawater, for God's sake, as its fuel, can't melt down, uh, creates almost no nuclear waste. What's wrong? Why don't we have these now? Well, it turns out that when you heat hydrogen to tens of millions of degrees Fahrenheit, the temperature of the sun, things become unstable. And that's why this reaction took place over a hundred trillionth of a second. Just a snap of the finger. So in other words, we want to have a continuous stream of energy, not bursts of energy like what we found here. Now, the French right. are also in a race. They have the ITER fusion reactor in Kardash, France. They're building their version of the fusion reactor. So we have a healthy competition now. Two gigantic fusion reactors, one in the United States, three football fields in length, and another in the, in the southern France, costing about $10 billion dollars. Very, very interesting. Uh, Professor Kaku, thank you very much. We appreciate it.